Good morning, good afternoon or good evening, wherever you may be in the world. Today, in what is the middle of winter here in Sydney, I'm going to talk to you about beach bags. And the reason I'm doing that is because most of my subscribers live in the Northern Hemisphere and it is summer up there. And I've managed to find a summer dress to put on and it feels very strange to be wearing it in the middle of winter, however. And I wanted to talk to you about a company called The Sack, who make really beautiful bags. They're hand crocheted by artisans in Bali. And I'll just tell you a little bit about how the company started. I'll need to read it from my notes because there's just too much. So, in 1989, childhood friends Mark Tolucci and Todd Elliott set out to travel the world on a break from their mundane corporate careers and a mission to find something more meaningful. Sounds like a very sensible decision to me. Between Bali and their hometown of San Francisco, a vision was formed to bring that spirit and craftsmanship home with them by way of a simple natural rattan and leather bag fashioned out of an everyday Balinese sleeping mat. It was a uniquely casual style that broke through in an era of buttoned up business casual. Mark and Todd saw it as an invitation to walk your own path, a more easy going one that strayed from convention and a new beginning for laid back style. Good on them, is what I say, and I'm really glad that they did form that company. I'll be showing you some of their bags. I'll also be doing some mod shots, and we'll also go shopping, because beach bags, in my mind, should not cost $2,000, $3,000. No. $200, $300, maybe, but thousands for a beach bag? No. So I'm showing you an alternative, and I think it's a really, really good alternative. Now this, this is the first bag that I bought from the company, well, not directly from the company, but from a store that stocked their products. I bought this in, when was it? It was 2000, the year I, we got married. And it's a you can see the crochet style there. It's quite unusual, it's just got a single strap. So it goes over your back like that. I'll show you a full length mod shot in, in a moment, but I just wanted you to see how beautiful these are crocheted. The craftsmanship is just incredible, it really is. I've had this for 24 years and I have worn this every single summer and it's just as good as new, it really is. They make exceptionally good bags, really high quality, totally sustainable, which I'll tell you more about later. So I'll do some mod shots now and show you the bags that I have from the sack. And then we'll do some online shopping and you'll find out a bit more about the company, their sustainability, the price of their bags is amazing. The quality that you get for two or three hundred dollars, or some are even less than two hundred dollars, is outstanding. I'll be comparing the designer beach bags with an equivalent in the sack bags. And you'll be really surprised. I mean, if you want to save a few thousand dollars this summer, you need to check these beach bags out. Okay, I'll do you a few mod shots now. Okay, before I start showing you the bags, I might just comment on what I'm wearing actually. This, this dress, as you can see, small buttons all down the front. Adjustable at the sides. It's 
that's a full sort of maxi length on me. It would be a midi length on anybody taller. This was from Marks and Spencer, and this cost me about forty-five, fifty dollars Australian dollars. The shrug that I'm wearing, which has has long sleeves, I've just sort of pulled them up over the elbow, was twenty dollars from Supre. The shoes, which you can't see, are. black sort of perforated little ballet flats from Target and they're $20 so $20 the shoes, $50 the dress, $20 the shrug, 90 Australian dollars that's about 60 US dollars for what I think is really a decent summer outfit. You know? This is where you can save money so you can afford to buy nice bags. Talking of nice bags, this bag from the sack I bought in the year 2000. It has a little, little logo there. It has a little medallion that says the sack. I think you can see that. It's just got the one strap, which is quite unusual. So it sort of sits, you can either have it, you know, here or further around on your back like that out of the way. It's, it's empty at the moment, so it's a bit deceiving. Okay, a zipper there. This one has no pockets. It's just, it's lined with a nylon sort of fabric. does though have whoops an external pocket whoops this is where you need three hands again an external pocket a zipped pocket on the back of the bag and it's a style that I really wish they'd bring back because it's just so it's so handy just the one strap just you know nice Okay, next one. So this one is just plain black crocheted again. I hope you can see that sort of difficult. It's a dark colour. Still got a little medallion that says the sack. This one has an external pocket just here. Which is really handy for train tickets, what have you. The interior. Now at this point they were still using a nylon sort of fabric for inside. And this one I think I bought in about 2010. Yeah, must have been about 2010. So you can see the sack there zip pocket here. Really good zips as well. Okay on this side we've got two slip pockets, one there, oops, one there. And it's just a really basic style but these are great if you're going to the beach and go for a walk along the beach. You know you can just shake the sand off them. Oh it has a little the sack button there as well, I forgot to show you. Yeah, they're just really nice, easy maintenance. I mean, if you go down to the beach, you don't really want to carry a leather bag. So I think this is a nice alternative. I'm not, these aren't what I was referring to as beach bags as such, you know, the larger ones that you can put your towel, your whatever you're taking with you for the day. These are just more, if you go for a walk along the beach, type bags. I'll be showing you some larger bags that are suitable for all day beach bags when we do a bit of online shopping after I've shown you my collection of bags. So there's that one and 
I liked it so much, of course, I had to get it in this colour as well, which is a gorgeous burgundy. It's exactly the same. Having said there's no difference between them, there isn't on the outside, but on the inside it is very different. It's just got a plain lining. It's got the same zip pocket at the back, I and mean, you can hear the nylon sort of fabric. When the company weren't sustainable, well, weren't using sustainable materials. But there are no slip pockets on the other side, so just the zip pocket there. And The one on the outside. I think this one I probably bought the year after, so we're up to sort of 2011 now. And the next one, okay, so this one's a larger bag. Come on, this one, 2015, 2016-ish, about then. You can see the crochet there really well. And how, how beautiful it really is. It's really made by artisans who just crochet beautifully. I mean, I, I don't crochet personally, but I've, I've seen pieces that people have crocheted and they're, they're not as neat as this. Again, it's got the little, little sack medallion. Okay, there's an external pocket on here that's got a nice little zip pull. That goes almost to the bottom of the bag, so it's a good size. You can wear that at the front or the back. But again, it's just a nice square shape. You'd be surprised how much you can fit in this bag. It, it fits a lot. So the next one I bought was, okay, this one, which is actually a little bit long for me. I need to make some more knots in here. This is quite an elaborate one. You can see the gold through the crochet. This is one of the bags that was made to celebrate 30 year anniversary of the company. And they made some really special bags. This one has a lovely tassel. This is fabric covered here, woven fabric. You can take the tassel off the flap of the bag is edged in these lovely little circles. And inside it's got a zip pocket here. I hope you can see that it's not quite a small opening. The other side, it has one small slip pocket here and it has another slip pocket here which also has two small card pockets here. It's a really lovely little bag I and mean, it's very, I mean it, it takes me back to you know the late 60s early 70s those hippie days that I absolutely loved. It was a fabulous time. Anyway, I won't start talking about that or I'll be totally off at a tangent. And it's knotted down here. It's plain on the back. You can see how beautifully they're made. For a the price, they are amazing. I think this one cost me about 50 Australian dollars eBay is a good place to look for the older ones if you want something you know like this that was only made for a certain length of time. 
and there's just one more bag to show you and then we're going to go shopping. This one I bought last year and as you can see it's a bit long on me so I shall have to adjust the adjust the straps. The strap's actually removable here. It's got those sort of that sort of fastening. If you can see it. Yeah, so you can take you can take the strap, which is just a single one like that. It's really handy that you can take this off the bag because I can make knots in this and make it the perfect length. Brilliant idea. I love the colour of this bag. It's a beautiful sort of teal colour. And you can see inside here, this is when they started using more sustainable fabrics. Small pocket there, small pocket next to it, so two slip pockets, zip pocket on this side, and also an external zip pocket that goes down almost the bottom of the bag. Yeah, and this one I bought last year, I love the colour. They do some really beautiful bags. You, you'll see when we look at their website, they're, they're really an amazing company. And if, if you want, you know, if you're an ethical shopper, then this is the sort of company that you should buy bags from, really. Because they made a pledge that by 2024, they'd be using all sustainable fabrics. And they met that target earlier than this year. So, let's go and do some shopping. So, I've talked a little bit about the company The Sack and their origins. And I just, I have the greatest admiration for this company. You know, after reading things like Dior and now Chanel allegedly using sweatshops, which... <sighs> I'm absolutely appalled about, I mean, I just, I don't know, I just don't understand companies like that exploiting people. It is not acceptable at any level. Anyway, this company, the SAC, is totally the opposite to that. As you can see on the screen here, it says we make consciously crafted objects that invite touch. Since our founding, we've always been about more than bags. Each style captures our love of handcrafted textural designs rooted in both traditional and reinvented techniques. We share the spirit of those who are curious and conscious about the world around us and welcome all to join us on, sorry, to join on our journey of discovery. The B Corp certified as you can see there, it says awarded to companies that meet the highest standards in creating a positive social and environmental impact. And they're now pledging to use 100% biodegradable packaging by 2027. There is more if, if you want to learn more about the company. Now, I, I told you about how it started um, at the beginning of the video, so I won't go over that again. What I do want to do is to look at the Balinese artisans. So from the hands of our Balinese artisans, many of our crochet styles draw on traditional techniques to create essential pieces designed to stay close to you. 
we are committed to elevating both the individuals and the communities that produce our crochet products by paying Balinese artisans fair wages and increasing job opportunities in impoverished areas aiming to support their craft, traditions and culture. I mean, compare that, you know, to couture houses farming out the making of their products to to people working in the sweatshops, allegedly. There's just no comparison, is there, really? I just, it makes me wonder how many other design houses are doing the same thing. You know, is this just the start of, of the House of Cards collapsing? I don't know. But the sack, I can assure you, is doing the right thing. And I, I really think they're worth, they're worth backing. Their, their bags are wonderful. They really are. That, that one that I bought in 2000, is seriously as good today as it was the day I bought it. It's fabulous. I absolutely love it. So what I wanted to do was to look at beach bags, not the huge big beach bags, but you know the sort of beach bags that you probably take if you were going to the beach on your own. And I thought we'd start by looking at the San Lohan Sanka set medium tote in raffia. Now this is 2,560 Australian dollars, US dollars 1,890. Now it's handmade from natural raffia crochet, which is fine. It says made in Italy. You know, how much of it needs to be made in Italy to, for them to be able to say made in Italy? I, d I don't know, really. This, this whole thing with, with Dior and Chanel, allegedly, has just, you know, I, I just don't know. I don't know what to believe anymore. However, I, I digress. So we're looking at a black raffia bag. It's not lined. Its dimensions are approximately 15 and a half inches by 12 and a half inches by six inches. That's the black version. There is also one in natural, which is probably a better color for a beach bag. For some reason, in Australian dollars, this one's slightly more expensive, 2,600 Australian dollars, but in US dollars, it's still the same, 1,890. Now this is a crocheted bag made from raffia. It's unlined. It's a lot of money. I think it's a lot of money for a beach bag. So you could have that one or the sack, do a bag called the 120 Hobo for 284 US dollars. It's very similar in size. It's hand crocheted. This one is lined and it has pockets. It has, as you can see here, it has the slip pockets. It has a zip pocket there. It's a very similar look. In fact, I think I prefer this look. This is the same bag, but in leather and crochet combination. And you can also get this in, where was the one I was looking at earlier? Oh yeah. A bamboo with neutral beads. Sorry, bamboo neutral beads. Which is this one. Yeah, 
which is a great colour for the beach, you know, that lovely neutral sort of sun colour. And then you've got these lovely beads that are sewn in, well, crocheted in. The sack, which is a play on words really, because a, a handbag in French is le sac, S-A-C, so they've called theirs the sack. Which I think is quite clever. And that is a brilliant bag. I mean, you can see from look, just looking at that picture, the quality of the crochet work it is just superb. It really is. It is first class quality. This one is reduced to 189 US dollars. I mean, compare that to this one which was in US dollars 1890 you know there's just to me there's just no contest I mean if you want a bag for the beach or just a great summer bag you know great to go shopping with in the summer This one's lined. The crochet work looks to be a much better quality, I must say, than, than the Saint Laurent one. Anyway, we'll have another look at a designer bag. This one is also by Saint Laurent and it is the Panier Small Raffia Basket Bag, unlined. Um, yeah, I'm I'm sort of looking at this and thinking this is a bit sort of wonky, isn't it? You know what I mean? I think what you're paying for here is that tag there, which says YSL. You can see this is an unlined raffia bag. Nothing special. No pockets. No anything and it cost two thousand four hundred and fifty Australian dollars or one thousand five hundred and ninety US dollars. So it's raffia, it's unlined, made in Italy it says again. It's got a leather trim and it includes a dust bag. I just don't like the way that it's sort of, I don't know, it looks a bit sort of weird on one side. It's not, you know, symmetrical. It bothers me. But look, that's just me with my OCD. Anyway, there's a great equivalent on the SAC website and in my mind, this this is a far superior bag. I mean, look at that, really. Look at the quality of that. Really. And this will set you back 303 US dollars. It's lined, it has pockets, so you can put your sunnies in there, your phone, you've got a zip pocket, well actually that would be better for your phone if you were going to the beach. No, so you put your sunnies in there, suntan lotion in there, absolute essential guys when you go out in the sun. Towel in there, bathers, whatever. They also have straw versions. This straw version is $189 US dollars, made from recycled straw. So you've got a leather option here, 
This one is reduced from $341 to $189. These are all US because it's obviously it's an American company. They do ship worldwide and their shipping is very reasonable. They've got the hand crochet version which I've just shown you and they also have the straw version and there's also a canvas. And that is reduced to 95 US dollars. I mean, really, with something like a beach bag, when we're talking about raffia bags, you know, or crocheted bags, it's just the name that you're paying for, isn't it? That is all. I mean, handbags, I can usually see the quality in a designer bag. Some, not so much. Um, certainly Chanel leather is mm, very questionable, which is another reason why I, I love the denim bag that him and Dawes bought me. And if you haven't seen that video, leave it up above. Um, and watch it. I, I got a bit emotional, but you know, we get emotional from time to time. We're only human, and I don't think there's anything wrong in showing that really. There was another really interesting thing that I wanted to point out to you about the sack. I've already spoken to you about the Balinese artisans. That's a great little video there. I'll be putting all these links in the description box down below. You see through, look, through a partnership with a local Bali non-profit firm, business and export development organisation, we donate a portion of proceeds towards funding health programmes, community events and the education of the female artisans of Nagara and the surrounding Balinese villages who hand crocheted each bag as a tribute to our roots. In October 2019, the SAC team headed to Nagara to administer various health exams and counselling to over 100 women and their families. Now there's a sex involvement here in World Ocean Day. I, d I just love the work this company is doing. You know, it's not all about bottom line to them. It's not all about just making a whole pile of money. It's about making enough money to live by comfortably. And isn't that what we all should be doing, really? But those, oh, where is it now? There was a wonderful thing about the recycling. Sorry, I'm madly scrolling up and down here trying to find it. Um, could have been under sustainability. Oh, yes, it is. Look, to date, we have recycled. And I, I was gobsmacked when I read this. 25,410,289 plastic bottles and counting. And those plastic bottles are what make the yarn that they crochet with to make these beautiful bags. And I just, I can't praise them enough that they care for the planet, they care for people. They make beautiful products, they're reasonably priced. You know that they're, they're a certified B Corp company. What else can I say? I mean, look. So if you want a beach bag, crocheted or similar for your summer holidays, Please look at the sack. You know, their bags are beautiful. 
well priced and you know you you're buying from a company that has morals and with all the stories we've heard coming out about some of the fashion houses lately as Jacob would say allegedly um, doesn't it make you want to buy from somebody like the sack because they really care and they're doing doing it the right way the moral way the honest way anyway I've I might get off my soapbox now and call it a day I'll leave all the links down below and trust me if, if you order a bag from them you, you will be delighted you will so I hope you enjoyed that little little bit of online shopping if you want us to do some more online shopping do let me know in the comments down below and I will always answer you I read every comment and answer every comment and I appreciate you all very very much oh before I go actually there was one thing I forgot to tell you about and that is if you sign up for the SAC newsletter sign up for their mailing list you'll get 20% off your first order good deal so I hope you found that informative and I hope that you'll love the sack bags as much as I do because they're they're just perfect for summer perfect summer bag reasonable price totally sustainable what more could you ask for there is one more thing I would like to ask you I'm trying to get my channel monetized by my 70th birthday which is in the middle of October and to do that I need a thousand subscribers but I also need 4,000 watch hours I'm doing quite well on the subscriber count but please don't don't let that put you off subscribing please do hit the notification bell and then you won't miss a video but the watch hours really if you can bear it if you can put up with me for a, however long my videos usually are between about 15 minutes and 30 minutes I'd love it if you watched all of my video you know because I need those wash hours desperately and at the moment I only have about 1600 so I'm well short of that 4000 mark and it, it would just be a great thing to achieve by my 70th birthday I mean I've, I've sort of come out of retirement started doing this just under three months ago I absolutely love it but it is hard work there is a lot behind the scenes that is put into making a video and yeah I, I just really appreciate it if you'd support my channel so on that note I will just say thank you very much for watching this video as always à bientôt mes amis au revoir et bonsoir can't make a noise they're hand crocheted by artists yeah I'll be showing you more of their bags well my yeah I'll be showing you some more of their not some more you haven't seen any so you can't say more to the equivalent in the sack in the sack <laughs> I'll be <laughs> sorry. I'll be comparing. Oh no, <clears throat> straight face, guys. Larger beach bags. When we did some online, yeah. It's got the etern <laughs> eternal to celebrate thirty years that the company have been making bags for. No, I don't like that. To celebrate thirty years. Well, to celebrate the company being. This is when the company was celebrating 30 years and, oh God, how do I say it? It has leather 
leather edging around here. Now actually it isn't leather because they're of, they only use vegan materials. So this is a some sort of material that I'm, I'm sorry, I have no idea what it is. I was totally stuffed that bit up. Uh, card slots made out of the internal, internal. It has three, no, it has two, it has two card slots made out of the same lining as, the same lining, oh God, Cass, terrible this evening. It's going to be a good one for bloopers. Mm. Ah, just another thought because it means that I cannot, I can knot this and, you know, don't make knots in it. This is all getting in the middle. And also, no, 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 I'll totally stuff this up. Very, 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 very. Okay, <clears throat> let's do it again.